Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 10th algebra chapter number 3. Problem set number 3 we will be completing in today's video starting from question number 9 to question number 14. We will be completing in today's video. Other videos I have already posted. You can go and check the playlist for class 10. Let's start with the question number 9. Divide 207 into 3 parts such that the numbers are in AP and the product of the two smaller part is 4623. So first what we have to do, we have to suppose the three parts, isn't it? So the three parts of 207 will be A minus B, A and A plus B. Now we will add these. It's D children. 207. So this is what has been given because in the first part only they have said that divide 207 into 3 parts such that the numbers are in AP. So we have done that. The first conclusion has been drawn. Now there are 3 A's. So 3 A is equal to 207. Therefore A is equal to 207 upon 3. 3 ones are 3 6 are 18, 3 9s are 27, so your A is supposed to be 69. Now the product of, so the product of A minus B and A is 4623. Now from where did this came? From the second thing, the product of two smaller parts is, two smaller parts they have taken, that is first and second. So, we have to product means multiply. Now, we will multiply them into A is equal to 4623. Now, we will 69 minus 7 uh, minus D into 69 is equal to 4623. Now, from where did this 69 came? Because we have got A as 69. So, we are placing its value. Now, 69 minus D is equal to 4623 divided with 69 divided with the table of 3. You all can divide it with the table of 3. So, 69 minus D is going to be 67. That is, D is equal to 67, 69 minus 67 which will be D is supposed to be now we have got A, we have got D. That means now we will place the values of these three numbers. So again we will take the same thing that is A minus D. That is 69 minus 2 is going to be 67. A we have got 69 and A plus D is supposed to be 69 plus 2 that is 71. So therefore the required The required three parts of 207 are 67, 69 and 71. Got it? Now let's move on to the 10th question. There are 37 terms in an AP. The sum of the three terms placed exactly in the middle of 225 and the sum of the last three number is 429 find the AP. So in the 20th question N is supposed to be 37 because there are 37 terms which has already been given. The middle term of the AP so the middle term of AP that is arithmetic progression is N plus 1 upon 2. So N we are having 37 plus 1 upon 2 means 38 upon 2 is equal to 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 9s are so 19 so this we have got the answer the middle term we have got now what we will do is the three middle terms we have to find using it okay now the three middle terms are going to be 18 19 and 20 the three middle 
terms are 18th, 19th and 20th. So T18 plus T19 plus T20 is equal to 215. This is given. Then Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. This is the formula. So first we will find T18 that is A plus 17 D. T19 is going to be A plus 18 D. And T20 is going to be A plus 19 D. So A plus 17 D plus A plus 18 D plus A plus 19 D is going to be 225. Now we will add all the A's 1, 2 and 3. So 3A plus add all these numbers you are going to get plus 54 D is going to be 225. Now dividing both the sides by 3 we will be getting A divide by 3 okay by dividing the above numbers the above equation by 3 we will be getting a plus 18 d is equal to 75 okay now this is going to be the first equation that we have got now the next is the sum of the last three terms that is T35 plus T36 plus T37 is equal to 429. This is given in the question. Now T35 is equal to A plus 34D. T36 is going to be A plus 35D. And T37 is going to be A plus 36D. So A plus 34D plus A plus 35D, A plus 36D is equal to 426. Now 3A plus 105D is equal to 429. Now what we have to do is again divide uh, by the table of 3 we will be getting divide by 3 we will be getting a plus 35d is equal to 143 this is going to be your second equation so first and second equation we will subtract subtract equation 1 from equation second so a plus 35d is going to be 143 this is the second term a plus 18d is going to be 75. This is the first term. Subtraction. So we will subtract it. This will get reduced. 17d is going to be 68. Therefore, d is going to be 16 upon 17. 68 upon 17. 17 ones are 17 fours are. So d is supposed to be 4. Now we have got d. Substitute the value of d is equal to 4 in equation 1 substitute d is equal to 4 in equation 1 so it will be a plus 18 into 4 is equal to 75 therefore a plus 72 is equal to 75 therefore a is equal to 75 minus 72 therefore a is equal to 3 now we have got both a and d now we will find t1 that is a 3 t2 that is t1 plus d so 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 t3 is equal to t2 plus d is going to be 7 plus 4 11 so 37th term is equal to a plus 36 d so a is going to be 3 plus 36 into 4 so 3 plus 144 is equal to 147 so therefore 
the required AP is 3, 7, 11, 15 and so on till 147. I hope this question is clear to everyone children because it is very easy to solve. Same sums we have already done in the previous questions also. So it is as equal as the those only. Now let's move on to the next one which is the 11th sum. If the first term of AP is A, the second term is B and the last term is C. Then show the sum of the terms of AP is A plus C plus A plus C minus 2A upon 2B minus A. So this is the formula that they have given us. We have to find those answers. So over here T1 is equal to A. We don't have T2 is equal to B. Tn is equal to C. So the common difference D is going to be B minus A. Ye ho jayega common difference isn't it this is the logic that we have to use behind it now let us find the total number of terms in the ap that is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d so tn is equal to c isn't it a plus n minus 1 and d is what d we are having that is b minus a so C minus A is going to be N minus 1 into B minus A. Therefore, N minus 1 is going to be C minus A, B minus A. N is going to be C minus A upon B minus A, which is 1. So only the changes in the place we have done, it's a basic that we have done over here. Nothing much over uh, here to explain. Therefore, I am not explaining simple it is n is equal to c minus a plus b minus a b minus a therefore n is equal to c plus b minus 2a upon b minus a that is this we have to change it in this way n b plus c minus 2a b minus a so what i have done is i have just changed their places and placed it in such a way that we need the expression okay now the sum of the n terms of ap so n terms for finding n terms we have to use the formula sn that is n upon 2 t1 plus t2 tn sorry not t2 tn we will put this in the square bracket now we will place one once the values that is n is supposed to be this much okay this complete thing is supposed to be n so we will place that only b plus c minus 2a put a small uh, line over here b minus a so i have used this over here then upon we have to use 2 okay so substituting the values if we are substituting the values over here, it is going to be B plus C. So therefore, SN is going to be B plus C minus 2A. 2, we have to multiply and over here it is going to be A plus C. That is, now we will change the place according to the question asked. That is, Sn is equal to A plus C, B minus, B plus C minus 2A upon 2B minus C. So, this is what was being asked and we have just changed the places in such a way that we will get the answer. Alright, now let's move on to the 12th sum. Let the camera focus yes now the 12 sum if the sum of the first p terms of a p is equal to the sum of the first term of q then show that the sum of its first p plus q term is zero and p is not equal to q so let a be the term uh, first term and d be the common difference so here a p find currently easy rahega if we are placing the values orally sp is equal to sq pe diya hua hai. First, the sum of the first term is equal to the sum of the 
second term that is P and Q. And now we will use the formula directly that is n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1 d. So p upon 2, 2a plus p minus 1 d. It is going to be q upon same, isn't it? 2a plus so only instead of p you have to write q. Then Multiplying both the sides by 2, so 2 will get reduced. Therefore, here only P will be remaining. 2A plus P minus 1D is equal to Q. 2A plus Q minus 1D. Multiplying both the sides by 2. Now what we have to do? P, we will separate the terms. Plus P, P minus 1 d minus q 2a minus q q minus 1 d is equal to 0 now after changing the places and making the pairs we will make separate pairs with the equal terms like terms so 2a and 2a will come together plus p p minus 1 q q minus 1 bracket complete d is equal to 0 therefore 2a okay from here we will take 2a and p minus q will come in the bracket p square p into p p square p into 1 p q into q q square plus and minus and minus will become plus and q into 1 is going to be q d as it is okay children don't get confused simple basics we are using only because of pq don't get confused so 2a now this is constant this will not change we have to change the bracket things so p minus q square p square p square minus q square minus p plus q d is equal to 0 so therefore 2a p minus q p minus q P plus Q open isn't it we can get it in this way P minus Q D is equal to 0 therefore 2A P minus Q plus P minus Q P plus Q minus 1 D is equal to 0 so therefore P minus Q 2A plus p plus q minus 1 d is equal to 0 but p is not equal to q which is being given so therefore p minus q is equal to 0 therefore 2a plus p plus q minus 1 d is equal to 0 now i will solve it over here only children so that we all can connect to it p plus q upon 2 so 2a plus p plus q minus 1 d which will give you p plus q upon 2 into 0 so it is 0 so sp plus q is equal to 0 so the sum of the first p plus q term is supposed to be 0 now in the same way we have to solve question number 13 children same way of solving is there nothing much is there so i'm not going to solve that question we will straight on move on to the 14 sum because it is same only instead of p and q they have mentioned m and n all right now let's move on to the 14th sum if a thousand is deposited at 10 percent simple interest check if the interest amount at the end of every year is in ap if this is an ap then find amount on the interest about 20 years for this complete the following activity now it is in the form of fill in the blank we will solve it in the form of sum only you all can fill in the blank because we need to solve it and then write the particulars so p into r into n upon 100 so after one year this will change to after 
1 year this will be 1000 into 10 into 1 upon 100 which is going to be 100 then we will write it simple interest is after simple interest after 2 years is going to be 1000 into 10 into 2 upon 100 then we will reduce it in this way and you will be getting the answer as 200 now simple interest for 3 years this was for 2 years so again for 3 years same kind of steps you all have to repeat after 3 years it is going to be 1000 into 10 into 3 upon 1000 100 sorry so these two zeros are going to get cut and over here the answer is going to come 300 okay so first year 100 we got see over here first year we got 100 second year we got 200 third year we got 300 and accordingly to the simple interest of four and five years is going to be the same okay so the over here d is going to be 100 and a is supposed to be 100 now we will use the simple interest for 20 years for 20 years what you all have to do then you all have to use the same technique that is t and voila formula a plus n minus 1 d so t 20 is supposed to be 100 plus 20 minus 1 complete bracket 100 so this t 20 is going to be 2000 now i will solve it over here Ye kaha kaha se aaya. 100 plus 19 into 100 is going to be 100 plus 100 uh, uh, 1900 so you have got t20 as 2000 okay so from here this answer came therefore the amount conclude the answer that is the amount of si that is simple interest after 20 years is rupees 2000 I hope this exercise is clear to everyone. If there, in case there is any problem, do let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.